Hello my crafty friends, today I'm going to share with you 10 cards I've made with the Spellbinders August Kit of the Month. First up, you will see that I've chosen this paper that looks like, uh, to me it looks like rainbows without stripes. And I've made a full A2 size panel and then I've cut myself a green piece of paper and run a scalloped die along both edges to give a decorative finish. I've then taken the pretty blue paper and cut a scalloped circle from that. That's going to serve as the base for my layout of these pretty little flowers. And I am popping up the flowers. Um, with different levels of dimensional tape. So some of them I've used our foamed squares from the kit and others I've used a slightly thinner uh, foam pad just so I've got varying heights. And you can see I'm just going around, I've got my flowers laid out. I'm just putting down and gluing on the flowers that need to go down first and then I will put the other flowers down flat to tuck underneath uh, the other flowers around it. I've also included that cute little smiley face. I thought with the sentiment I'm using it was a nice little fun touch. The sentiment I'm going to cut myself a strip of the foam tape from our kit and I'll use that then to pop it up over top of my a uh, little background of flowers I've made. I then wanted to add a little bit more embellishment so I'm taking some of the puffy hearts in three different sizes and just placing those onto the green strip there. To give it a little bit more dimension to the card I'm going to take what's left of my glossy accents uh, well that's after I do my sparkle pen I'm going to add the sparkle pen to the center of the flowers and then I'm going to come in with my glossy accents and put some details on the heart eyes of the smiley and then I'm going to fill in the centers of all my flowers. That just gives it a little bit more shine and dimension. I flood the whole center of the flower with the glossy accent and then I use the tip of it to uh, smooth it out. For card number two, I'm taking a piece of the navy cardstock that was in our kit and covering the front of the card base. Where you can see that little bit of white at the top, I do trim that off in a little while and um, then there'll be no white showing. I've cut a piece of the pretty purple pattern paper. That's a lot to say, a lot of piece. Um, slightly smaller than the card base and then I've cut myself another rectangle of cardstock with the backpacks on and cut that then on a diagonal. I'm then layering on top of that piece another uh, white and purple paper and then I'm going to pop my little green backpack on top as an accent and then using some of the foam tape again I'm placing my sentiment which says have fun and then to fill in the bottom, I've grabbed the letters that spell create and I'm just arranging them how I think I want them to sit. Once I'm happy with that, I um, have already placed foam squares on the back. I'll use a little bit of glue just to make sure they stay adhered to the base. Now I've gone ahead and I have attached all my letters now, just doing the last one, the E getting that into place. To finish off the letters I'm taking the little foam clips that are on our sticker sheet there and I'm firmly attaching those to the letters. I wanted to make sure I had alternating colours to the letters. To finish off I'm bringing in some gemstones from my stash and these are a light purple iridescent colour. I'm then going to go over my uh, letters that spell create and I ran out of glossy accents so I'm using my Nouveau Clear and I fill in all my letters and then I'm just going over the straps of the backpack as well. 
And that's card number two finished. On to card number three, which is going to be in a landscape position. I've chosen the patterned paper with all the flowers on it, and that's gonna be the backdrop for the little scene I'm building. Making sure that's nicely and firmly attached. I've then cut some of the yellow zigzag paper in our kit, and I've followed along the lines, and I've made myself what looks like a little mountain or hillside. I'm taking three of the uh, tree die cuts from our die cuts pack and I'm just popping that first tree underneath my mountain and I made sure not to press down on that when I was adhering the paper to the card uh, initially. Now I've got my little yellow tree and that's popped up on foam tape. It's the only one that will be and then this is my last tree being applied now. I've used uh, sentiments from a previous Spellbinders kit which say happy birthday and I'm just rubbing on a little bit of glue smoothing it out so it doesn't bleed out to the front of my gold cardstock and then I'll do the same with the birthday part as well and I just wipe that glue onto a wet wipe to uh, make sure I don't stick to anything afterwards. I just need to lift up that trunk of the tree so my Y can finish underneath it. I'm taking this super cute little snail and I'm going to adhere that to the bottom of my scene and I've also taken uh, this tag that says uh, do your thing. I've got lots of foam tape on there so it'll be nice and secure. I've also added a piece of purple and white twine. It's more a lilac colour and that's going to give me some detail to my sentiment up there in the top left corner. Then I'm going to take just one little butterfly in the navy colour and add that to the top of my card but keeping its wings uh, propped up. I've got these Love From Lizzie gold circles and I'm going to use those to bring a little bit more gold into my card and you can see I'm making a little snail trail so that helps your eye travel from left to right where the sentiment is. I'm also going to pop three of these little circles um, behind the butterfly as a trail as well. Just going over the top of the Do Your Thing sentiment and then over my snail with the glossy accent. I use some of the black Nuvo drops just to run down the center of my butterfly to give it a little bit of sparkle. And then I fill in my snail with the clear Nuvo drops and add three to the tree. And that's card number three, all finished. Card for it is a lovely, vibrant card. I'm using the bright cherry red from our cardstock and I've cut myself a base to cover the card front. I've also taken a piece of this bright rainbow paper and that's going to be just about an eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch smaller than the card base all around. I'm gonna make myself a shaker element here and you can see I've got it ready to go. Underneath my shaker, I'm placing these three cute little uh, characters and you're going to be able to see them through the photo frame shaker I'm making. I just put a little spot of glue to help me remember where I've got to place my little um, die cut. Now I'm just double checking that I'm happy with the position with my frame and then I realise I've got way too many uh, sequins in there and take half of them out. I've just got my uh, frame popped up with uh, one layer of foam tape and then I'm using some glue to help uh, keep it in place, make it nice and secure. For my sentiment I'm taking the puffy foam words that we've got in our kit and I'm taking the B and applying some extra glue to them to make sure that my words will stay in place. And the second word I've chosen is you. I'm just placing that so it will overlap both the frame and where my shaker elements go. 
I'm taking three of our puffy stickers with more characters and I'm going to place those onto the frame as well. So it's full of little characters with the sentiment saying, be you. And I've also added one of the small puffy rainbows. I'm going to add three banners to the top right of my card. And you can see I've got the die cut there of the blue stripe. I've then cut myself a gold banner and also using the green sentiment banner, which says awesome. And I'm just going to cover my hole in that green sentiment banner with one of my dark blue iridescent gemstones. And then to balance that out, I'm adding three more to the bottom corner of my card. Just getting that in place. And there's my be you because you're awesome card and the little shaker part as well. I think it's a very cute card. Card five will be a landscape card and I'm taking the pretty tealy aqua colored paper that has the pencil shavings all over and that's going to be the base for my card. I've cut a piece of the purple and white pattern paper that looks like the covers you get on notebooks. I then cut myself one strip of the pencils from the pencil paper, and now I'm just going to trim up any overhanging pieces. This frame you might recognize from a kit we received late, uh, last year, and I'm going to use that as my focal point. So taking off my tape and then placing that on, I'll then use uh, the my Bailey Art glue and that very fine needle tip to place glue onto my frame and I put my blocks on just to hold it down for a couple minutes. I've then taken this die cut piece and I've used glossy accents on the rainbow to give it some shine and foam tape to pop it up off the frame. For the sentiment I've stamped one using our stamp set and it says you are a work of art or heart, I should say. And I've popped two of our puffy hearts on there and I'm finishing off the bottom with one of the pencils. And in the photo, you'll see I've come along with the glossy accents or the Nouveau drops and just put that onto my pencils and my pencil and the two hearts. Card number six, I wanted to create a card that used the word crafty and I wanted the idea of being crafty at heart or having a crafty heart. So I've cut two heart shape uh, panels and then I've run them to, through a Sizzix 3D heart embossing folder just to reinforce the idea that it's a heart and lots of heart involved uh, when we are crafting. I'm then going to surround my hearts with lots of the crafty ephemera pieces in our kit. Down the bottom corner, I'm putting the mug full of all our crafty goodies. And then I'm just going to tuck different pieces of ephemera either under the gold heart panel, on top of the gold heart panel, or even um, over top or under the pink heart panel. Some of the ephemera pieces, because they are overlapping the dimensional parts of the embossed cardstock, I needed to pop those up with a little bit of foam tape as well as some glue. Crisscrossing my brushes there and here I am just trimming another little piece of foam tape to pop underneath that brush because it was raised up higher on top of the embossed cardstock going around fairly quickly now and just popping some glue onto the rest of my pieces and tucking them in underneath the uh, cardstock um, which was quite easy because it has such different levels of dimension it made it easy to tuck underneath and there we go tucking the last part of the pen that I cut in half up in the top part there and gluing on my last little piece, which is the pink paint. I'm then going to apply my crafty foam sentiment and I did add glue to the back of it. I wanted to make sure it would be nice and sturdy and stay in place. I'm then going to add some details with my Nouveau 
uh, clear crystal clear drops and I'm just putting that onto the cup the paint tubes the ends of the paint brushes and on the label of the glue bottle and then I will come back in and go over my crafty as well and the Nuvo drop does dry really well no cracking or any problems um, on top of those foam stickers as well just adding some last final touches down the bottom of my card in the bottom right corner with those three hearts and a bit of crystal drop and that's card number six finished for someone with a very crafty heart card number seven uses one of my favorite papers from our pattern paper pack and I'm going to adhere that to the front of my card it's just a tiny bit smaller than the A2 card base. I've got a f uh, the frame from our ephemera and I've cut a small piece of the purple paper and I'm popping that onto the back of my frame. Now the frame is popped up with foam tape to give it some dimension. I'm then taking my sentiment which says uh, have fun and putting that on foam tape down the bottom I've then got three butterflies, two are from our die cuts and one is from the chipboard sticker pack and I've just bent up the wings on our two little butterflies so it's got dimension and placing the third one on the bottom there of the frame. This sentiment I've added foam tape to as well and just made sure that I could still overlap my sentiment piece uh, with the frame. I had this die cut um, a wooden heart sh shape and it's been painted uh, to match the colors of the paper and I've decided I would place that on my card at bottom as well. I'm taking some gold hunky-dory crystals and I'm placing those on the corners of my popped up frame and then I'm taking three of our smaller crystals and just placing those inside with the butterflies as extra decoration. I then wanted to add a little more colour to my heart and I've chosen to come in and use a puffy heart sticker and I've just placed some glue on the um, butterfly chipboard piece as well because it wasn't sticking so well. So the sentiments on my card will read do all the things you love as well as have fun. Card 8, I'm using one of my favourite dies. It's from Mama Elephant and it cuts a scalloped frame with the scallop being on the inside and then you can also get a middle panel as well so I've cut it twice so I've got two different pattern papers to cover the front of my card and I was just showing you on the patterned paper that's going in the center of my card I've used glossy accents to go over any of the little creatures that were wearing glasses so it's got a little bit of like a spot varnish on the paper I have taken two die cut pieces. One is the owl and then the sentiment there, which you can see I've gone over top with glossy accents. I've then got that popped up on foam tape. I'm taking one of our uh, papers and I've cut myself a fishtail banner. And then I'm taking the striped die cut piece and that's going to be added over top of the first banner. So that navy banner is popped up on foam tape as well and you can see I've added three gold uh, rhinestones or crystals to the top of the flag and now I'm just adding on the sentiment so it says this is where the fun uh, happens and then never grow up so a card for someone who likes to have fun. I'll talk you through card nine as I forgot to hit the record button but you can see I've cut myself a smaller uh, piece of the navy grid paper. I've die cut a gold tag and then popped on top of that our pink tag ephemera piece which I've decorated the hole with a piece of twine. The cute tent is popped up on foam tape and overlaps the pink tag and then to the right of that I've added the rainbow piece which I've added glossy accent to every third colour. Under that you'll see the sentiment and then I've gone around and added some of the puffy heart stickers as well as some of the pretty shiny red sequins. 
and that's a quick run through of how I made a very cute card number nine. The main focus of card number 10 was using lots of the stamps from our stamp set. I'm just laying out the lawn fawn inks I used to make the background where I stamped the heart in multiple different colours on the background. And then I used the rainbow just in black ink to go and stamp over top of the hearts. I then filled in the gaps using the pencils and the uh, glue, sorry not the glue, the paint tubes to fill in my background piece there. I'm going to attach that to my card front using a strong glue and I'll use that so I can just wriggle my piece of paper there in alignment with the card base. I've got two pieces of pattern paper. These were scraps from previous cards and I'm going to use them to help highlight my focal image of my card. So placing the largest pencil shaving uh, piece of paper down first and then I'm adding some of the red check on top of that. Get them lined up and as straight as possible. Then I've taken a piece of scrap card and I've covered it with uh, lilac glitter tape by Kaisercraft. And that's going to be my backing piece for the stamped image. So I've stamped out the little easel and put a yellow heart on top, then stamped the sentiment. It's a make stuff and be happy kind of day. And then I've added the sentiment, hey crafty friend underneath my easel. Just going to add a little bit of sparkle with the glitter pen. And then I'll come in with my Posca medium gray pencil. And I'm just going to add shadow underneath my easel uh, legs and then just on some of the framing of the easel itself. I've added in two little uh, foam stickers being the paint brushes and a foam tube to finish off my card. And here's a quick look at all 10 cards I've made today. I really hope you've enjoyed watching me make my cards. I've had lots of fun with this kit and I still have lots left over. Lots of things that I'd still like to make. Um, I'm hoping that you also have this kit and you've enjoyed using it as well. I'd like to hear if you have any favourite cards that I've made today. And I look forward to seeing you in the future with some more card making. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, I would love it if you would. It will help me grow my channel. And a really big welcome to my new subscribers, as well as all my subscribers who have been following me for a little while now. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I look forward to your company in the future. Bye-bye for now.